President Trump this week signed executive orders designed to protect the U.S. solar industry. But some critics wonder if more harm than good is being caused here. Mike Gooding spoke with the leader of a groundbreaking solar higher education program right here in Hampton Roads. But this is for solar products. So that we'll be making solar products now, much more so in the United States. Our companies have been decimated. As part of his America First campaign, President Trump this week signed an executive order imposing a new 30 percent tariff on imported solar cells and modules, effective February 7th. The idea is to help American solar component manufacturers. But some stakeholders worry the new duties could slow solar system installations in the U.S. by driving up the cost to consumers, thereby reducing demand. With the tariff, you know, it's going to add price to the bottom line of a system. So if the tariff is 30 percent, you are going to see that tariff be passed along to the consumer. Thomas Stout is dean of Tidewater Community College's Science, Technology, Engineering and Mathematics STEM program. TCC has already educated more than 120 military vets in the last two years, teaching them how to be installers in the booming solar industry, which generated $154 billion in economic activity in 2016 and employs more than 370,000 people in the United States. Stout is confident the solar industry will adapt to the changes. If prices go up someplace, they're going to figure out how to improve and reduce the prices in other ways. But the Solar Energy Industries Association says the tariff will cost about 23,000 Americans their jobs and result in the loss of billions of dollars in solar investments. Mike Gooding, 13 News Now.